When I was making previous projects, I noted that there is a voltage adjusting variable resistor in this power supply unit. It was able to change the voltage from 7 volts to 15.1 volts. That voltage is more suitable to use as a car battery charger as well as a bench power supply. Therefore, I am going to convert this power supply unit into bench power supply. If it is a bench power supply, you have to change this variable resistor by replacing with a potentiometer. So we have to remove the existing variable resistor from the board. Therefore you need to take the circuit board out from the mounted casing. Remove all the mounted screws from the casing. There are two heat sinks mounted to the casing with screws. Carefully remove those as well. When you touch the high voltage part, ensure that the high voltage is removed or short before touching it. Let's check the board. You can see the voltage adjusting resistor close to the power indicating LED. Since there are three pins, you can remove it pulling out the resistor by heating the pins. Normally, these kind of resistors are printed its values on the surface of the resistor. But you can see the code but not the value. If you are not familiar with code, you can find the value of the resistor by using a multimeter. This time I will show how to check it by using a multimeter. When you check the resistor values, you have to change the selection switch of the multimeter to ohms. Now connect the both probe of the multimeter to ending pints of the variable resistor but not to the middle pin. The value of this resistor is 1 kilo ohm. Now you have to find a potentiometer with 1 kilo ohm. But I do not know that I have a potentiometer of 1 kilo ohm. I will try to find a potentiometer close to 1 kilo ohm. If you check the circuit board, there are two pins connected together. Then you can use wire extension with two wires when connecting potentiometer. I am using a wire connected to connect the potentiometer. As I said before, I couldn't find 1 kilo ohm potentiometer. So I connected 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. See how it is connected. This is the potentiometer I found, this is printed as 103, the it is a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer. Shall we connect it and check the voltage? After connecting potentiometer, we have to reassemble the circuit board with casing. Do not forget to connect the both heat sink before testing. Once the power is supplied, you can see the minimum voltage is 3.92 volts, then check by increasing the value. You can see that the voltage can be increased up to 15.1 volts. Since the minimum voltage is 3.92 volts, I think there is no use of using a potentiometer higher than 10 kilo ohms, but I think 5 kilo ohm will be more practical than 1 kilo ohm resistor as 1 kilo ohm resistor can give only 7 volt. This is the wiring diagram. In order to mount the parts, you can use the casing of the power supply by cutting and drilling the required holes. Watch the video.
since the wiring and mounting parts are completed. We can give the power to the bench power supply. You can see the power supply is working well. Now shall we check the power outputs. As we tested this power supply can give 15.1 volts. Since this is not just a power supply unit but a battery charger as well, you can check the battery charging. In order to charge the battery, you have to set the charging mode using the switch. Now I will check it with 6 volts battery. Battery charging parts is also working. I think now you can make a bench power supply with battery charging units using a power supply unit. If you feel this is helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Until next video, stay innovative, stay with Setinfix.